April the 20th, 1995, the day after the Oklahoma bombing. America was still reeling from the shock when in Oakland, the Unabomber mailed a package. For the last two decades, he'd used the US Postal Service to deliver his deadly parcels. And with years of practice, this was his most destructive device to date. It was addressed to the president of a timber trade organization in Sacramento. The day that we received the mail package bomb, uh, it was on a Monday, and of course that's usually a heavy mail day for us, and it usually comes around noon. So when the mail came in and I heard people shuffling letters, I walked up to the front, started sorting through the mail that was on the counter. The package was at the very top of the rest of our mail. When I picked it up, I immediately noticed that it was heavy. And it was, it was rigid. So it clearly wasn't a package of books. I would have been able to feel that. And it was addressed to the former president of the association. And then a thought came into my mind, and I think it's because of the Oklahoma bombing the week before. As I told Eleanor, I said, you know, this could be a bomb. Gil Murray walked in at about that time. Eleanor pointed out to him we had this odd package and should we send it on to, uh, to Bill Dennison, the former president, and Gil Murray said, no, 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 I'll open it. I turned and walked out, tossing off the remark, well, I'm going back to my office before the bomb goes off. Gil Murray was killed instantly. He was the Unabomber's 26th victim, the third to die. 